I'm Mr. Grinler. And I'm Mrs. Grinler. And, and this is Grinler's Creatures. And welcome back to another episode of Grindler's Creatures. Creatures. But on today's episode, well actually before we get on to that, it is the first video for 2024. And I really do hope you all had a wonderful New Year's. Me and Charlotte, we just ended up spending the night and we didn't actually have kids, so yeah. We still did nothing. Yeah, we did nothing. <laughs> but it was quite fun at the same time, you know, when we ain't got the kids. That time's quite precious. But to start 2024 off, the first video, we're going to be doing a Monocentropus Balfouri. And, well, this tank, a lot of you have probably seen before. And the female that's going inside, you guys have probably seen this all before as well. So let me grab the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Right, so down on the table we have the old tank, which, come on, some of you guys must remember this. You remember this, ain't you, Charlotte? Yeah, look, it even has a, one of those. Yeah, the old little label yeah. on there. Ain't that where it like dents them in? Yeah, this is so the one where you have to do the single letters at a time. Um, and I think that's as far as I got because it took me too long. So I think I did only a handful of them. Well, you know what it means about Fory. But this is the one where, I don't know if you're going to be able to see properly, but I had a little window back here. Hang on. That's better. I had a little window back here. Then it also had one. Let me spin it around also had one just here although we ended up getting a crack in the tank which i siliconed over someone said to you silicon i don't know if that's true or not but i did anyway um but yeah this tank has just been sitting around pretty much doing nothing and uh, i've actually got no monocentropus balfouri females inside a glass tank at the minute because they're all in like sort of well they're all inside like this or other plastic tubs but I always wanted to have an egg sac inside this tank here. A female to go inside, pair it and lay a sac. Because I did have a female in there before. I paired it quite a few times. And it didn't actually lay a sac, which I was absolutely gutted about. And uh, I was talking to Charlotte earlier about this, actually. The uh, female that was inside, she was absolutely aggy. It was a mad one, wasn't it? Yeah, that's when the room <laughs> was upstairs. And I used to, like, go past and she used to, like, strike on the yeah, glass. Yeah, I remember that. She was an absolute nut job. But inside this tank is going to be this female just there. And we've even still got Amy's little label on it. So pretty sure this is female. And this wasn't the actual enclosure that it came in, by the way. What did it actually come in? It's like a, it was a plastic tub. But it was a bit smaller, but a bit higher, wasn't it? Um, is it one like that? No, nah, it's bigger. And then we ended up putting it inside this uh, breeding tank. And I'm pretty sure this, this female molted again. So we paired her and she molted out. But yeah, we're going to stick her inside this tank here. So it's going to be the only female Balfouri we have in a glass enclosure. Apart from like a communal because there's loads of females in there. And then yeah, fingers crossed we can get an egg sac. And we can see some babies get raised by her. But yeah, this is going to be fun. You excited for this? Um, I don't know yet. Yes, excited for the outcome, but I don't know about actually moving her. <laughs> yeah, Emmanuel, look, there's a light. There's a Not light above Charlotte's head. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, let's do it then. There you go, Charlotte. It's all down okay. to you. So I don't know if you guys remember when I done these, but it was literally just a little hide, okay. along with a water dish, and then the actual spider just inside there. This is going to be exciting. Okay, can you see her from your end? No. Sh oh, can I see legs there? No. I can't see legs either. Oh, She's down there somewhere. I see. Let's try and get her to come out. Try to just get her out in the open. Yeah. Let's see. I can't see. Oh yeah, I see her legs there. Uh... There you go, you can see her just... Oh. So she's jumping around inside. Oh, I see a leg. 
You see it, yeah? I see it like, yeah. She's just high-fiving me at the moment. I don't know if you want to put the uh, tube maybe there. Maybe see if it will like, just go out towards it. I would say maybe from there, because there's an entrance there. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, you glued this as well. This is the one yeah, where Yeah, yeah, I, I glued them all on. I didn't realise. It's only hot glue, to be fair, so I don't know how secure it actually is, but I'd rather not destroy it, because we can get... clean it up, use it again. Where does some of the webbing? Yeah, there's our abdomen that side. She could probably do with a bit of food, to be honest. Maybe I can get some feeding clips for this part of the video. She's probably more likely going to come out. The bigger hole here? Yeah, from here now. I think it's just a bit of cork bark yes, like overhanging. It is. I thought it was like a tube, but it's not. It's coming out the wrong way. It's coming out the wrong way? Oh. Alright, let's get around here a minute. There you go. Nice and easy. So we're going to put the lid on this quick. And then we're going to set up this enclosure. We'll just move it forward a little bit. Look at that. Look. Absolutely beautiful. If you haven't got a Monus and Tropus Balfouri, you need to get one. They're absolutely beautiful. Just look at that. But we'll get a proper look in a minute. Let's uh, let's set this up. Let's get this off. Move this forward. Let's do it. So we've tried to clean it up the best that we can. So this was caked with web literally all over the enclosure. And uh, well, actually, before we actually rehouse this, go into this. Let's show a little brief history. So I didn't actually show you a brief history, did I? So yeah, I'm gonna make you guys wait. I'm gonna show you some history about this girl and this tank, actually. Let's, let's go do back it. in time. I don't even know if I got this tank on bill, but yeah, let's go back in time for a minute. Let's have a little recap, and then we're gonna re ask this girl. I'm sorry to do you like that. And well, the way that I'm gonna share that with you today, guys, is completely different. I don't really do this very often. I've done this on my old channel, but yeah, I'm going to share it to you like this because first of all, you know, I'm not going to copyright myself now, am I? So I haven't got to worry about that. And I don't know, it's a bit more sort of personal if I record myself while we watch it together, I guess. I need to share the experience of just me building this tank and the actual female. And I thought I actually had the the tank build recorded, apparently I didn't. I don't know why I didn't record that because that would have been cool. But yeah, I'm gonna show you the video regardless. Uh, show you what it looked like when it was actually first built. And then, you know, the female going in. And then I'm gonna show you the actual female that I got from Pet Rock and Roll. But yeah, I've got to show you this intro as well. Have to show you the intro. So yeah, don't diss because I've got some bad headphones on today, guys. Uh, Charlotte's taking the other in-ear ones to uh, work. And then obviously, you know, I'm in my dressing gown, so. Don't judge, I'm comfy, I'm in my zone. We're gonna go through this. And this this clip was when the, the spider room was in the room I'm in now, so this is currently the bedroom. And it's mad to think we f we had all them spiders in her. But anyway, let's do this. I've got, I've got to show you the intro first. It's a jam. I'm Mr. Grinler, and here are my creatures. And me with brown hair, can I just say? Me with brown hair. Absolutely nuts. Let's have a look at that again. Look at that. Brown-haired Grindler. I'm Mr. Grindler, and here are my creatures. So these were like some of my fatal fan clips that I remember. Absolute jam. The original OG rehouse table. Welcome back people and on today's episode is something I've never ever done before. We have got an unboxing and on top of that we've got some sort of tank design. So I've been speaking to Francis, decided I wanted to try some excavator clay. And can I just say, I wish you published that video before, before I started doing it. That's all I'm saying Francis. 
but the whole balloon idea where you put the excavator clay is awesome and i'm just going to show you guys these tanks in a little bit i really so what I was talking about there was Francis basically said to me that uh, the Invert Kingdom, by the way, he basically said, oh, you know, I've done this video of excavator clay and I'll show how I've done it with the balloon and everything. But he released it a couple days after I actually made the tank. So, yeah, it would have been handy to have beforehand. But the balloon, the balloon with the excavator clay is absolutely awesome. If anyone actually wants to do it, you just get a balloon, you blow it up, you wrap it with cling film, because then when you pop it after a strike, it's easier to pull out. But basically, yeah. You, you put the, the balloon in with the cling film, you put the clay around it, once the clay actually hardens out, you pop the balloon and then it will just come straight out because of the cling film, cling film, yes, cling film, uh, and it will just come straight out and there you go, you got a burrow. Uh, you know, I absolutely love excavator clay, the only issue is, it's so expensive, absolutely expensive. Anyway, I'll, I'll be here forever talking, so let's watch. <laughs> let's do it. really had some fun doing these tanks as well. Unfortunately, I didn't actually record the bit where... Hey, yo, you didn't want to watch this bit. What we want to watch is the actual tank bit now, because we don't... Oh, actually, so yeah, who I got it from was Pure Exotic, uh, so inspired by nature. No idea if they still are around or what. This was years ago. but And then, obviously, I got two two baths, so two adult female baths uh, from a Czech. So that was... I can't remember what place that was. Something to do with enclosures, but here we go, let's have a look. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Let's, oh, oh, oh. Let's just, yeah, we'll watch Seconds it Seconds to set Okay, so up. I've had to go into wide for this, but this is for one of the look female Alphoris. So this is excavated clay. Rock Drop hard. solid. As you can hear, there is a little burrow. Just in so this wasn't just excavator clay by the way, it was made from excavator clay and then like I done a mix of sand, cocoa fibre and ex excavator clay together and that's what you can see like on the surroundings like the sand and that. I actually put the sand on to hopefully like dry onto the excavator clay as well. And I think it works. There, I've put some substrate in. There's also one just down there where I put some substrate in. So they two also bars. have some little windows on the side as well. Um, and then there's one just round on that side. Still got the crack. But and me bashing the I think the mic. that is pretty awesome for a first time. And then I did make Drawing another one as well, this. didn't I? Yeah. Uh, it was a, like a little bit of practice, so like I've never used this stuff before, which is why oh, I, I wanted. I can't listen to that because that microphone sounds dodge. But here's the actual Balfouri coming out. Look at that. And this girl was absolutely aggy. Uh, she was aggy the whole time I had her in there. She used to strike the glass and everything. But yeah, never ever got an egg sack off her and I was absolutely gutted. It would have been so nice to have, you know, just babies with a mother in that, in that communal. Anyway, we'll check back on her in a minute. And then that, that was another one there. Oh, that is stunning. Look at that. And I think that's probably about all the all the sort of footage I got from that, to be fair. Like I said, I'm pretty gutted that I didn't actually record the actual build of the enclosure, but yeah, it is what it is. There you go, there's another one. Hours later, bit. it's dark outside now. <laughs> she is absolutely gorgeous. So that was a different tank that I done in a trancher room enclosure. Probably not the best for the, the weight of it. And then obviously the actual female that Amy gave to me, it was quite hard to actually find this clip, but this was from, do I show you the little intro for this? Yeah, come on, let's have a little blast from the past. So yeah, this was from, sorry, uh, my pickups from the Southern Invert show. And that was, so this, this is on the new channel just over two years ago. Crazy, let's have a look. I'm Mr. Grinler. And here are my here creatures. Are my creatures. Oh, we got this thing here. DJ Grinler. Yeah, let's skip that. Let's have a look. All right. So we only want to see that that tank that I was talking to you about. 
Here we go. Go down to the table and let's have a look at what I picked up from the Southern Invert Show. Okay, so first of all, we have got this just on here. And we've still got that note. There you yeah. go. And uh, can any of you guess what it is just from looking at this? There we are, the Monocentropius Balfouri. And then we have a little... I don't know why I used to call it Monocentropius. I don't even know if that is how you say it. It's monos... I say monos... Oh my God. Monocentropius. Monocentropius. Oh, I don't no, know on anymore. top that says, pretty sure this one is female. Now, come on. There, there's no better gift than a Balfouri. I'm sorry, like Amy. Like... <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Love a Balfouri. Fingers crossed this one is female. 100% was female. And then there was also, a, well, she said it was a suspected on the note, but she, well, no, she put unsex, sorry, but she suspected that it was a male, and she was unsex. right there as well. Real quick look inside. I don't think it's out. I don't think any of them are out, to be fair. Uh... There is no bow, but I'm sure it's just under its little burrow there. But yeah, that's all I've really got to show you for the brief history, to be fair, because I don't really show it off anymore. I just talk about them a little bit. That's when I had a £100 mystery box from Portsmouth. What did I get from Portsmouth? Harpacteria pulchropes, so the oh. golden blue leg baboon. Oh, that's the one that got out of the enclosure. We had a little trench of room enclosure, and obviously we've got CCTV in the in the room, but it only like if there's no movement, it only like does little screenshots um, every now and then. And one minute the lid was off, and then the next minute the lid was off. No, one minute the lid was on, and then the lid was off. Nah, that that was freaky. Crazy. What else did we get? Postlatheria rufalata, I think it is. Red slate ornament. That's the one that's still downstairs, yeah. That's huge now. Mental, so it is £30 for this one, and it is just... That is crazy when you look back at stuff like that. Down there. No way. Beautiful. What and was that? Nisha Noculus, SP Panama. Oh, Nisha that's Noculus. awesome. So these are a dwarf species, absolutely tiny. I don't think you we have that it anymore. Just there. And then... Mad, right, anyway, I've taken up too much time, so, yeah, absolutely, just crazy. I might start doing this a bit more often when I do a little recap, to be fair. Show a bit of Mr. Grinler, get Mrs. Grinler on there. But, yeah, anyway, let's get back to the video, because I've already, you know, made you wait long enough. You guys want to see this female getting inside that tank. And I can't wait to share some updates down the line with you guys. Fingers crossed we can get that sack. Come on. Have your fingers crossed for me, guys. All right, let's get back to the video. So, yeah, what a lovely recap. But now it is time to get this female in. So, you ready, Charlotte? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay. Look at her. She's already coming up. This should be a nice, easy, straightforward rehouse. Which way shall I angle her? This way? Well, that second burrow over there is like a tiny little burrow. I don't even know why I've done that, but that one's the main sort of chamber, so yeah, I'd probably do it from that way. Oh, this is a excavated clay on the end of the brush. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned that. This is actually like cocoa fiber, excavator clay, a bit of sand on top as well should probably do some more enclosures like this. I absolutely adore doing them like this, but I think it's more the, it's excavated clay is expensive. And it's, oh, it's coming around. No, it's not, that's it. That was lucky. Hey. You could have been chasing about four, right? <laughs> We could have. Let me come around here. Although you're actually really good with bow fouries when it comes to bows. We've had them all around this table before, haven't we? Yeah, we've had them go up the up the lighting a few times too. Up the curtain. <laughs> yeah, just just part of the the hobby. Look at that. 
Absolutely stunning. Oh, just fell, fell into the water dish, look at it. Bam. I think I got that on camera, you know. You might have got my little gasp. I think she might be coming out now though. Yeah, she's coming back, so we might want to get that. Oh no, all right, maybe we are going to be dealing with a, a loose Balfoury. No, Charlotte saved us. We should probably get the lid back on, I'm not going to lie. Before we do deal with a, an escape Balfoury, I can get some footage in a bit. Like I said, she could probably do with a feed, to be honest, so we will try that at some point. In a couple days, let us settle in. No. We'll see how we get on. Not as smooth as it should have been. Boom. <laughs> so let's see if we can get a little bit of footage for this. So that is the first video for 2024 completed. That's it, we completed it. High five. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Monas and Tropus Balfouri. And uh, I think that went all right, to be fair. Yeah, nice, nice and easy. Nice, quick, easy <laughs> rear. So to be fair, it was nice not to actually have to build a tank for once uh, for a video. So it was just, you know, a little clean up. I don't normally do a clean up of a tank, if I'm honest, but where it's a dry species and it's excavator clay, it was pretty easy to tidy up if I'm honest and uh yeah we'll see how she gets on in there because I really just want to have a communal in there that was my dream when I first built it so let's see if we can achieve that for 2024 you know she's molted recently as well not massively recently maybe like two three months back yeah so that. you know there's a good old chance that we could make it happen and what better female like I said than to use than Amy's, Pet Rock and Rolls. And if you haven't, make sure you go over, check out Pet Rock and Roll, because she does some amazing Balfouri content. She is actually the, uh, I think she was the creator, wasn't she? Of the Balfouri, the founder. founder. She was the founder of the Balfouri Communal Club. The link's down in the description as always. Um, I'm an admin on there as well. It's a really cool group. And uh, everyone talks about Balfouri, so what more do you want? But that is it for today's episode, guys. So if you could like, comment and share, that would be absolutely great. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and hit that subscribe button. What? what? <laughs> yeah. What was I saying there? I don't know. He said subscribe way too many times. Though. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And hit that bell. Hit that bell icon so you're notified of when we upload next. <laughs> and don't forget, down in the description, there's a link for our link tree. It's got all our social medias on there. It'd be greatly appreciated if you go check that out. But Mr. Grinler's done here. So is Mrs. Grinler. And so are all our creatures. Have a great week, guys. You all deserve it. Peace. Bye.